This episode of Unfiltered Marriage is in memory of the great and late Chef Carl Ruiz. We love you, buddy. No, but oh? what, what makes Doctor Who so special? Like, why is it on for like a hundred years? Nerds, he's nice. right. He's just, just nerds. Nerds. Let me tell you, I'm in New York all day now. I'm, I, I have a restaurant right next to the Google Building. The nerds took over, bro. It's over. The nerds yeah. took over. What's the? Once it was cool to be a nerd, we lost everything. Yeah. That show's been on for like fifty years now, yeah. or some shit. Dude, we lost been like... everything. They're all fucking with their little inside jokes and online to buy a new electronic toy and shit. I fucking see them snickering at us, Carl. They fucking they they stare at me the whole fucking time. You know, <laughs> they're just nerds. They're fucking. They cry with their girlfriends at the same time. It's a mess. It's a mess out here. A mess. Uh, yeah, I don't I, know. I'm on a subway all day watching guys just get yelled at. The whole sit down, sit down. I'm like, what the. <laughs> yeah. Remember when like you'd be scared on the subway because like someone might stab you? You yeah. know, now someone might record you doing something. It's like fuck, man, just leave me alone. Yeah, like I'm fucking <laughs> and all the nerds are fucking talking nerd shit with each other. Oh, I got the new Iron Man doll. Oh, look at my look at my Xanos fucking glove. I'm like, get the fuck, you're forty, bro. I'm gonna punch you to death with your fucking glove. How about that? <laughs> Oh my the god. Mess, that would be great. Bro. Could you imagine like, that? Seeing Carl on the subway just guy. with a Thanos glove on, smashing some guy in the face with it. Because <laughs> I was coming, I was in the subway. I was, I was behind this guy. He had like cartoon pins on his backpack. I was enraged. I was in, I couldn't even fucking get off the platform. I was shaking. Did you watch Game of Thrones? Oh, I'm, I lost my virginity years ago. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now, see. <laughs> we miss you, buddy. We miss you, man. That was. Uh, just even listening to his voice can bring me back to moments. I tell you, there's only... Uh, I, I, I've actually never, ever had anybody call my phone inappropriately throughout my entire relationship with my husband, thank God, except for Carl Ruiz. He would call at 2 o'clock in the morning, video chat, texting me, call me right now. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, come out here, party with us. Yeah. I'm like, what are you talking about? It's 2 in the morning. Carl, we have kids. We got to stay home. All right, be out here first thing in the morning. Jump on the train and get out here. We're like, Rock, oh. Jess. Immediately. Every time the phone rang. Yeah. Well, we call him. Rock, Jess. He yes. never knew which one of us it was going to yes. be. Or funny, we, we was a periscope on, and he was on watching me do a periscope one time, and somebody was saying, I hope there was a nipple slip or something. He's like, I hope so, too. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, he was fucking, he was just a, a hysterical, uh, down-to-earth, a, a lot of fun. Uh, um, he was honest. He was sweet. And he didn't give a fuck about what anybody thought. No. He did not care. I mean, apparently, you saw his outfits, right? Yeah, if you look at his Instagram and some of his outfits, my he man was like the cat lady of the, of the neighborhood. That's what he looked he like. The cat a lot lady, of cat stuff, flip he flops cat with stuff. socks and cat pants, cat pants with uh, <laughs> swimming shorts, cat pants and like a, a, a sailor's like hand, like wool sweater. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just the crazy. He had quite shit. the style. Yeah, um, but yeah, you know, we wanted to the only guy that would like he would, wouldn't even be like inappropriate. He would just be kind of flirty. You know what I mean? Yeah, but that's just Carl. Like, yeah. I don't, there's no, no he like. No, tell me all the time, I wish I found a girl like you. Find me a girl just like you. And I'm like, Carl, I cannot find a girl like me. Yeah. I don't know what like, to do. Like, there was you. no malicious intent with no, it. It's he just, wasn't you know, to Carl talks me. to guys that way. You know what I mean? Where he's just got that kind of. So, but, uh, yeah, it really sucked. Really, really sucked that we got that news over the weekend. And, uh, we love you, and we want you guys to know, and everybody to know who's a part of it. Like, do not forget about Opie Radio, man, because don't sleep on him. Yeah. He is the material he needs. He he definitely is feeling something right now, and we love you, and we're here for you 1,000%. You know, but do not forget who you are. Get out there and fucking do it. And you have other people like us here who want to hear you and who want to be a part of it. So mm. holler at us, Opie. We are ready. I, I feel for him because, <laughs> you know, I said earlier on uh, Super Ugly that um, – Ope had it rough after the radio days. Like, a lot of people turned their backs on him. A lot of people were fucking snakes. And Carl was like a breath of fresh air. You know, it was like, ah, oh, look, a normal person, someone yeah. that isn't trying to fuck me over. And or he was so sweet, Nicole, when we went out to Jersey, because we went to Jersey to one of his restaurants uh, about a year and a half ago, a year ago. Um, we, we went to the restaurant. It was a small little place, you know, and... Uh, we sit down, and he's like, what, could, what do you guys want? What do you want to drink? Blah, blah, blah. Didn't let us take out a dollar, nothing. <coughs> and when he was like, what do you want to drink? I was like, I'll take a <coughs> glass of red wine. You know, we got a nice two-hour drive home. And he was like, oh, we don't serve wine. Hold on one second. <coughs> he leaves. He goes to the liquor store, buys the dopest bottle of red wine, 
comes walking in and he's like, we got wine now, poured me a mm. glass of wine. And I was like, now that to me, like he did not have to do that. He did not have no. to be so hospitable. He did not have to be so... That's having he, class. And he you wouldn't know what let it us pay for it's a class it's act It's not right like there. he's sitting there going, I'm doing this because I'm going to bang this broad. I'm sitting right there. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Right. Like, That's he's just, just who a he nice was. man. Exactly. Yes, exactly. yes, yes. Exactly. And treats like... Treated us like we were family, mm-hmm. and we've we've never met him. We've spoken it dozens of times. You know what I mean? Yeah. And most of my relationship with Carl was electronically. Yeah, and then when we, we met him, we only met him the one time. But it it turned into so much more. Like he would yeah. say to us, "Stop, hit me up on Twitter. Your family, call my phone, hit up my phone. Like your yeah. family to me. Stop it." Because I would be like, "Carl, talk to me." And he's like, "Stop, hit me on Twitter. Just call me. I, you're my family." Yeah. He's like, "I'll talk to you. Just yeah. call me." He, <laughs> he definitely made us to feel. Jess, I wouldn't do that to him. Oh please, I <laughs> I would get him to call on the show. Whatever, I talk to him whenever I want, and I still would talk to him. We love you, Carl. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, I don't want to stay there all all day, but I I want to say that the lines are open. Phone calls only for people who have stories about Carl. So if you have something to talk about with Carl, you can call in anybody else. I'm not taking any calls tonight. Um, okay. So does everybody remember Jesse James? Yes. Jesse James, the porn star. Jessica. Jessica James. James. They called it Jesse James. No. It, yes, they, they did. D- Every article I've seen is Jessica James. Yes, I know that, but when they would say it, when people would talk about it, like, you know that girl, Jesse James? No. 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 Jessica James? No. No, you're thinking of Jesse James, the the guy who cheated on Sandra That's Bullock. when she said Jesse James, that's who yeah, came to you're mind. you're thinking of him. No, I'm thinking of adult no, film star. No, but you're star. getting the name crossed is oh. what I'm saying. And then there was another adult film star, Jesse Jane. Oh, right, right, right. There's another well, then one. I was thinking Gemma Jameson. Well, yeah, and then there's that too, but you know. But no, that girl's name, is, her stage name is Jessica James. Yes, no, her, re- her real name is different. Um, yeah. But anyway, so she's 43 years old. They found her, and her, her f- husband found her unconscious in her apartment. Why do you do this? As if she because probably OD'd. A- actually, it says... Or uh, committed suicide. He said he didn't hear from her for a few days, her husband. Didn't hear from her a few days. So then he went there, and she was... Dead. Dead. And uh, the time she was pronounced dead... 420. No shit. Yeah. Mm. I found it kind of crazy. And when I hear stories like that, I just, I'm sorry if I think you didn't hear from your wife for a few days. What is That's it? what I'm a thinking. Like, first of all, what like, kind of relationship the did they you? have? That, like, well, she was you know, a porn funny, star. You, know, like, you read the comments on the articles about her mm-hmm. and there's a lot of people that are like, whatever, she was a slut anyway. And it's like, wow. Whoa. Like, like people are, are like shitty because of what she did for. She a was living. making money, but that's her yeah, job, like right? That's yeah. her job, and that's what she chose to fucking. Why like, do you care? It's not your bed. Yeah. yeah. Unless you're mad, you don't look like her. You can't fuck her. I but was just gonna say, right? And, and people, that's the way people think. Like porn, they forget it's a film. Yeah. And like they go, all right, guys, stop for a second. We need and they to, have get to adjust stop. the light, and they have to stop fucking, and sit there and be like, yeah, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> So what about those Mets? Yeah, you know like what I mean? Dick's still, and you got to stay hard <laughs> yeah, during Dick's all this. Yeah, exactly. She's got to stay wet. It's not easy all this. Like, to it's do. It's not an easy profession. And look at what they got to do. And these girls really put yeah, the effort in. Yeah, some of the in. girls really fucking go really above put and that beyond. Effort in I there. hope they get paid well for some of the shit they do. Oh my god, Jesus. So anyway, I, I, heard, I read that and I was like, you know, it's a little weird to me when I hear people pass away because their husband didn't hear from them for a few days. That's just fucking weird in itself. Maybe he was away. Mm. Um, I don't know. I guess uh, he could have been away. I mean, I don't know why you're trying to. But like him. after a few days, if you know, if you guys talk all the time and you don't like, why wouldn't you have someone go and check on her? Because mm. mm. she's a big girl. Um, yeah. I don't know. Check this one out. This is a good one. I'll let you read it because you you do good with reading better. <sighs> all right. Oh, she's a pretty. This mm. is the teacher. Mm-hmm. She gets off. She doesn't get off. Get out of here. Go. Teacher arrested after giving 14-year-old more than just extra credit. Oh, I like how they Yikes. worded that. Yeah. Oh, wait. Lie. Just wait. More than just extra credit. We've all credit. had those teachers, the ones who, despite their harshness, their demanding nature, their outright unpleasant attitudes, seem to bring out the best in us. They inspire us to make us work harder. All right. Where the fuck is This is not a story about one of those teachers. This is a story about a teacher who did everything they could to bring out the worst. Mm. Oh, you don't even know. And not only a student who trusted her implicitly, but who put her own basest instincts before her students' welfare. Is this one of the... Uh, this is like goes on forever, no, baby. J- l- uh, listen. 
What's the, give it, give me the up and down of this thing because this is. The, this I didn't need you to read the whole thing. I thought you were gonna scroll through like you do. I'm trying to, but like even trying to see where the story <laughs> is is. All right. So anyway, uh, she he starts failing in all his grades and everything. This is how it starts going down. And his parents are like, "What is going on?" He's like, "Look, I'm gonna tell you what's going on. I've been fucking my teacher for the past year. She's smoking marijuana with me, and I'm slacking. And now I don't know how to get out of the relationship. She's married best, best under two years. Wow. Married under two years. Okay." And she left her job, resigned from her job a week before he told his parents and tried to run. But apparently in the state that she's in, there's a law that you can't, it's Texas, you, you can't just leave and start somewhere else over. You have to stay, stand trial for what you did. Yeah, that's um, anywhere. No, it's something like there used to be a thing where teachers could just leave and then they couldn't get in trouble because they left already. Why, teachers? Yeah, th- I'm telling you, read the article more and I'll all put right, it on my right, Twitter. And I right. hate that you question me. Like, I'm in the middle of a fucking story. Because I'm asking a question. I'm not supposed to ask questions. That's how this no, works. No, I know that. But I don't know, I don't know if, if it was, a, like I was right, saying, so I think if they were coming out with a law. I don't know the answer. I'm just asking a question. My God. They're coming out with a law stating that you can't leave. So even though she left the job, she's no, still... No, but what I'm saying is that's anything. It, like, if you break a law in New York State and you're, you're due for trial, you can't leave the state. Yeah, yeah but it didn't say that. She Yes, but I'm... I don't get what you're saying then. She tried to leave before she got caught, but she got oh, arrested. Before. Yes. Okay. She tried to leave before she got caught, thinking she could go start somewhere else. Well, the charges already pressed at that point? No, they didn't arrest then her what yet. what was stopping that, her from that, that's leaving? What that's what I'm saying. She was in getting. the midst of leaving, I guess. I don't, I don't know where she was planning on going, All but, right, but he was, I'm getting to the moment here because it mm. said it in a paragraph, and I obviously feel like maybe I should have fucking read better. God. It was bullet points. It's like the ridic- I did have bullet points. You just come in. Okay, so cancellation and resignation. Was uh, she was no fool. She realized for some time he was going to tell her. Husband had found out, and then here's the stolen childhood. <sighs> All right, All right you know what? Forget yeah, it harsh charges. What that That's what I wanted to get at. They're yeah. trying to fucking give her like the longest time ever, and she had a fi- uh, fifty thousand dollar like bond to get out. Her father. She fucked a fourteen year old. She her should. Her father's a big time lawyer, so he got her out for like twenty five. And well, then no, you get out uh, on bond or whatever. If it was fifty thousand, that means her bail was uh, five hundred thousand dollars bail, and then you get out on ten percent of that. Yeah, right. That's how it works. I yeah. Believe. The uh, they're they're starting to say like now that they have to make a thing of her because she did this, and, and they're saying it seems in general like female educators make up to four percent of the convicted rapists. Four percent of the rapists are. T- female teachers. See, that word rape needs to be changed for when it comes to statutory cases. Because rape to me is a violent act. Mm. Like rape isn't a consensual yeah, she, act she between two people that they're aging. Mentally she's strong armed. No, him. no, I, I but uh, but that's what I'm saying. Like they, they need to figure out another word because rape sounds so harsh. You know I what agree I mean? with you. Like rape sounds really fucking harsh. That is not a, like a light word. When you th- when I think rape, I think of a woman getting beaten right. and forced sex upon. And no, I agree. But listen, this is the law I was talking about. It said Texas state uh, passed a law stating that teachers who were accused of such crimes from merely, re- from merely resigning and moving away, they can't just do that because they would resign and then move and start over somewhere else. So yeah. they're saying that you actually have to go through all of this and then you cannot be a teacher again. Yeah, well, obviously. You know? Yeah, she but definitely But there are some should. people that can move away and they can get a job somewhere yeah, else. Yeah, call priests. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> fucking God. I'm I don't, not lying. I don't... <laughs> Truth be told. I'm not lying. They fuck kids and when they get caught, they ship them to another state. Mm. How do you know that? Because it's, uh, it's common knowledge. Everyone knows that. Everybody knows that? They just sh- put them to another state they to be a priest? Priests don't get arrested. They have, uh, do you ever see a priest locked in handcuffs on the p- cover of the paper? Are you fucking kidding me? I've never seen that. How are none of them in jail? They all should be. Fucking kids for decades. You're hundreds right. of centuries even. You're right. I can't, I'm like, actually at this moment, my mouth was open. I needed to close it. Yeah, because it dawned on you. I have never seen a fucking priest in jail. In handcuffs, even. In handcuffs, yes. Yeah, no. Oh, they're afraid that they're going to go to hell? If a priest was in handcuffs, it'd be on the front page of every fucking paper. Every paper. You're right. And how many times are these guys fucking kids and... They get away with it. They just transfer them. Holy shit. That's how powerful the Catholic Church is. Holy shit. They're powerful. Yeah, no shit. 
they're the real Illuminati type shit. Yeah, it churches. goes all the way up to the top. It's the oldest form of fucking controlling government. Of course, is, yeah. Is religion. Right. No, I knew that, but I'm saying, like, I am just, I'm just at a point where I just realized that there are no priests to go to jail. No, that's why I look at organized religion as a joke. Because it is a joke. A I don't believe in that shit either. It's all a scam. It's all to fucking get money out of your pocket. That's all it is. Not even that, but I guess it's like her- putting you in herds. This herd believes and, this. And this uh, herd believes that. This herd believes and this. And that's not for me to say you shouldn't believe in something. Go ahead and believe in whatever you want. But what I'm saying is the, f- the, the organized religion nonsense of showing up to a place and handing over money every week and dancing and s- not dancing, but singing. Well, it's some ch- churches they dance. But the, the singing and the fucking cult-like behavior of everyone do the same motions at the same time and fuck all that. that that's, that's crazy shit. Like, that's for people who lived way back in the days without, like, real knowledge. Right. Like, before you had real knowledge... Like, now you go and you go, is even God real? Like, most people are like, come on, you know, at least think about it and go. Even, even real faithful believers have I'm doubts. I'm a faithful believer, you but I, I believe mean? in many gods. I don't believe in one. But, but to sit there and be one of these Bible-thumping Christian mm. Bible-thumping. Or even the hardcore Muslims words. or the hardcore Jewish people. Anybody who's hardcore but needs to fucking relax. any of with their religion. Like, you're just, living your life the wrong way. You're doing it the, by some conformed fucking society hundreds of years ago that But wait in each so in each religion it talks about you know being kind and being good people it's like but then don't judge don't do this don't do that but then all they do is judge yeah, you don't believe do. what I believe then you're not fucking cool you oh you yeah. you're going to hell you got a tattoo oh she ain't getting buried in the catholic yeah. church Get the fuck out of here what's the difference like i'm not in your bed whatever i practice whatever religion which is i'm actually a, a sp- more spiritual person than anything has nothing to do with fucking Tom, Dick, and Harry over there like because more Wiccan, if anything. I like am earth, a little. Yeah, I am Earth, Air, earthy. Fire, Water, earth. Fire, Water. No, but really, I mean, I guess like you know, but it doesn't matter. Why does it matter what anybody else is thinking or believing? Do what you want to fucking believe and do. Yeah. That's so crazy how people, and then they get angry when you don't agree with them. Well, they, those people live their whole lives to die, because when they die, that's when the payoff comes. So they waste all that to, because how else can you trick these dummies into listening to you for their whole lives? That's right. So you tell, what the fuck is going on with you? You all right over there? I got a chunk of lemon in my mouth. Oh. <laughs> but, you know, the, these dummies mouth. listen to everything they say, so why That's not? That's her right? hitting on you. That's her flirting. <laughs> She's like. That was a f- fucking crazy <laughs> face. You should have seen it. I know, I know what she does, but how she's trying to hit on you. I know it. <laughs> but, uh, well, no, you're really the one I want, Jess. That's, That's a okay. first for the podcast. <laughs> wa- are you waiting for me to go at any time? I didn't realize that until just now. That is a first for any podcast that I had my glasses on. Well, it doesn't matter. You look handsome as God fuck. damn it. You fucking kill Clark Kent. Um, Give me some. What was I just saying, though? Because the, there was a whole like, point to that. Ah, nah, there was the point was that we were saying how people are so... Uh, well, you were talking about this teacher story. We'll go back to that. What's the whole deal now? That's it. She's she's in jail. No, she went. She's in uh, standing trial right now. It's just happened. She's in jail. Oh, she's standing trial. They're going through shit now. I guarantee she gets barely any jail time, if any. I don't know. He's fourteen. The pretty girls always get off. <laughs> she was t- pretty. She was like a pretty teacher, and, and her husband yeah. was decent looking man. And I didn't see the picture. No, oh. I'm telling. Opie and Anthony used to do a bit on it, where the pretty teachers would always get off real light, and the ugly teachers would always get oh, jail she time. She is pretty. Mm-hmm. So she'll get off light. She'll get off. It's line. fucked up. Like, dude, though, she really mani- manipulated his brain. The kid's 14 years old. She introduced him to weed. She showed him his tits and some pictures on Snapchat, and that's how they started hooking up. Yeah. Like, you're a dick, dude. Well, you know. you're a See, dick. I have mixed emotions about that. Go. Why? Just, well, because I was 13 when I lost my virginity. And to I a teacher? <laughs> no, but. Then? I mean. And when I was 15 was when I started my relationship with my ex, and he was 20. Yeah, it's, it doesn't and make it right just because. No, you did my it. parents pressed charges on him. Well, I went through the I'm whole saying. statutory rape but thing. But you're with him. you're like trying to justify but it, but just because. Well, no, you I'm did saying it. from like the mentality of someone like a kid that was that age, like doing that shit, you know, like. Yeah, it's still, it's a teacher though. Like the teacher. I think, thing. as far as that's concerned, like you, I think it's inappropriate because of the fact the that it's a teacher. But I don't think that yeah. she like. Yeah 
manipulated him per se because no at first of course he's like boobs and fucking she's hot my teacher I'm gonna get a good grade but then he started smoking weed all the time because she was smoking weed with him so then not only is she endangering the uh, child's welfare but she's having sex with him he's 14 she's fucking 30 like that's gross bro Mm. like that's gross I could see a 30 year old being like I'm fucking him he's 18 he's 14 some 14s grow up man no, you Rocky. Know. No, as an adult, as fourteen, I thought I was pretty grown when I was fourteen, 13 and fo- doing like my thing. Look at your son Zach. Oh my God! Don't even talk it's a about big that. Big kid. It's a big kid. <laughs> but, but that's what I'm saying. Some kids grow up and they're just big kids, and they look older. I remember we had a one good friend. Um, what the hell was his name? <sighs> I'm totally blanking on this guy's name, but he had the full beard and everything at like 16, 17. He was able to go into stores and just buy beer. Because people looked at him and thought he was like 25. I'm telling you, when we bring Kano to school, everybody thinks Zach is, they think he's a college student. People stop him like, excuse me, do you know where this building is? And because he spent so much time with Kano and he knew the map of the school, he's like, yeah, just take a left over here, (laughs) walk three blocks that way, (laughs) go this way. He's like, I got you, don't worry. I got this. I like this. We're the same height. (laughs) That (laughs) is neat. Sean. (laughs) Sean. (laughs) Fucking best. Uh, all right, I'm going to ask this to you because this statement's used by your people. <laughs> My Ooh. people. Your people. My people. And I want to know if you agree with this statement. I hear this all the time by the lefties. And again. Uh, hold, first of all, I'm not a lefty. I know, you're but, a socialist. Okay. <laughs> Like Bernie, he's a socialist. I love Bernie. Mm-hmm. I got him tatted on my so shoulder. I know you do. She said she'd fuck him, so, even though he's seventy. So you're a socialist. <laughs> um, <laughs> and on that side, you always hear this as far as the election coming up. Anyone but Trump. You agree with that? No. And that's the problem. I'm th- not her. Anyone? Really? Right. Anyone? No. Right. How about the bagel boss guy? Yeah. Him. No. Yeah. He's good. Better. No. He's better than Trump. No, like I don't agree I mean with Trump, like, but I don't agree with but that whole. You've heard that though before, yeah. right? And like you, you hear that statement and you go, "Wow, that's a dumb thing to say." You know what it is? It's more or less again people going, "It's only my thoughts and not your thoughts." And instead of them compromising with each other, which they should be doing, they're trying to get rid of him. But he's doing some good things. Like I like some of the things he's doing. I don't think that he's all right. I don't think any old fucking president's no, it's right. Not even that. It, I'm it's not even getting on any of that. I'm just talking about the fact that the left will say some crazy outlandish shit like anyone but Trump. It's so no, it, I'm not one of those vote blue no matter who people. Yeah, like, Absolutely not. That attitude gets you fucking nowhere. I don't understand that. That's it's just why. Not right. That's why I'm neither. Like I can give a fuck about either side. I mean, I l- don't get me wrong. I hate Trump. <laughs> I would never vote for him ever in my life. Ooh. But that doesn't necessarily mean I'll vote for whoever the um, Democratic nominee is. Our best friendship just is. ended because I am Trump and I'm, we can't be friends. I'm I can't even stand your face. Blah, 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 blah. Um, uh. Yeah, I can care less either way. Because I don't give I've a shit what you believe or who you love. Many times because it doesn't affect my life who the fuck is in that office. So I don't give a fuck who's in that office. I don't care. I don't care about politics. It's all pointless to me. They it, just it they just attack life. each other instead of attacking the problems together, and that's the problem. We're not working ever. together. It doesn't. Aff- it, honestly, it doesn't affect me. I'm middle America. I don't get affected either way. My shit pretty much stays the same for the most part. So I don't pay attention to it. See, I, I pay attention because to me it does affect me and a lot of things that are going on affect me and they affect my kids. Well, mm. <laughs> He's such a fucking prick. Mm. He's like, mm. Mm. I don't think that's a subject it's you guys should talk about. It's on you to make your life what it is. That's how I look at it. It's not on your government. It's not up to them. Well, it is when they make no. certain laws that help discriminate against certain people. Yeah, but those laws, a lot of them have been banned and lifted, and no new laws discriminating are being implemented. None. So, I mean, come on. They're lifting laws. You can have a fucking full-grown man in a dress walk into the ladies' room now. Yeah, The fuck can. is that about? I got to yeah, worry about Valentina sitting in a toilet next to a dude taking a dump That's because true. he feels like wearing a dress? That's true. Uh, I don't know. I, I agree see, with that I, one. I agree with the bathrooms. I don't agree with the bathrooms, and I'll show you something, okay, because I... I it's funny because I keep these no, pictures. No, you don't need to show me anything. If Valentina's going to the bathroom, 
And there's a man in there. Well, that's what I want to show you something. That, that's why I want to show you this. But what are you going to show me that makes that okay? There's nothing you can show me that because makes that okay. Because would you rather her in the bathroom stall next to this man? That's Buck. I know who that is. But that's would a trans person. Right, but that's so what I'm saying. Like, yes, if that's, if that's a female. With just a, because he with has a vagina? A vagina? Yes. 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 Big difference. Because someone yes. like that walking into the bathroom, if you didn't know that was Buck Angel, let's just All say, right, for argument's sake, if you didn't know this was Buck Angel and you see him walk into the bathroom with your daughter, you'd be me. like, whoa, I'd I'd most likely, take your ass yes, to the men's room. Buck Angel isn't going in the ladies' room. Exactly. He's going in the men's room. And this woman is. So what? That's a trans woman. It doesn't, yeah, but she looks like a woman. It's. D- I feel like it. No, th- this is the thing. If Valentina walks but, into the bathroom the and there's a man in there, she's going to be like, "What the fuck is and this?" And that's the problem of what people think. No, but you, you, you're you're equating that trans to all trans. That trans no, is not all trans. I, I'm just saying, like, the person, I mean, the, I'm talking about the guy who just throws on a wig, still has the fucking beard stub- stubble. And a fucking hat and a dress. But and how? Now I'm a lady. Okay. How often is that really going to happen? All the time. Those rights. I see more of those guys than <laughs> I see the so pretty not trans true. people. True. Um, in my experience, it is. I don't think anybody who has a penis should be in the bathroom with girls. No. If you have a vagina, you I go in the girls. If you, if you have a like, penis, you go in the boys. If you look like see, a man. See, I disagree with you, and that's coming from a personal, because you both know that my younger son is transgender. Yeah, but you know what? I I can see Zach going into the boys' room and going into the boys' bathroom. I can't see, right, I but, can't see a boy going into the But that's not what you just said. What you just said was if you have a penis, go in the boys' room. If you have a vagina, go in the girls' room. That's not what I just that's said. That's what I said. I did not say that. I said if you have a penis, you shouldn't be going going in the girls room zach can fit in either way zach it's easier for zach and that's what i said it's actually more, it's not because no, even before I, he transitioned that, he though. was getting yelled at by teachers uh, when yeah, he, before he transitioned yeah, he was going didn't know, no because, because didn't he, know. he looks he looks no i'm talking himself. about when he had a ponytail when he had a ponytail Some before boys he even have a ponytail nicole he did not ever carry himself like a woman he was him his whole life and, and he again, wore I think appearance sh- is a big boy part of gym it. shorts all the time at 11, 12, 13. He, uh, younger, didn't and dress like a girl. And here's the thing about the appearance thing, too. Buck Angel went to the extent to become to a woman and look like that. You earned the right to go into the men's bathroom. That yes. girl, yes. That, that trans man, went and made the change she to looks look like, like a, a woman. woman. You, you can deserve go in the, the right to go room. in the woman's bathroom. I feel like it just should be fair because here, if. Like, as and, and that sucks to say that. But because you it's have these people it, that I look an at image and I go, you're not even trying. You're not even trying. It's a comfortability. Like it's Zach an image. Looks like a boy. She's tr- trying to look like a. Well, uh, let me sorry. let he me say is, this to you because maybe you, maybe like because I've done a, a lot of research and I know because I'm a part of that community because of my son. When it comes to transgenders, it is a lot easier for a female to transition to a man. It yes. is more. It is a lot. Yeah. So much easier to get rid of the estrogen and put the um, oh, no, testosterone in. When it comes to a man transitioning to a woman, right? it's very difficult to get rid of that, that masculinity. It's also, very, I, very I, difficult. Also, like his therapist. That I want to bring up real quick. Any female that is male, trans, okay, female to male, trans, going into a men's bathroom, will only use stall, stall bathrooms. It's right. not using a urinal. Right. Okay? A man in a woman's bathroom, his dick is still out in a woman's bathroom. So now a little right, girl Right, but he's in a stall too. Maybe not, though. They don't have maybe urinals not. in the women's room? No, I know, but who knows what they're doing in there. Girls do things in the bathroom. Yeah, girls do do things in the bathroom. I change or I'll do... Yeah, you, we do things. You know, I'm you just want saying. personal space, a little bit, personal space. like the So I think that <laughs> also, like... I'm just saying that person that you think looks very manly, you don't know how far he is into his transition. A lot of, especially with men transitioning to women, a lot of them do it a lot further in life because of the fact that it's so much like Caitlin more Jack, socially example. acceptable. Like Caitlin like with Jack gay men versus gay balance. women, it's yeah, for some reason I mean. it's so much more socially acceptable to see lesbians kissing than it is to see men kissing. I know, it's just and a that's fun, why it's not that's anymore. why not anymore. Not men are kissing used to all the time like on that. TV now. It's Used to be. be. 
I see men kissing on TV all the time now. Yeah, actually. Reality shows, regular TV shows, doesn't matter what it is. There is gay sex everywhere. To the, that, that's, that's crazy to say there isn't. There, it's literally, it's not rampant, but it's, it's pretty in your face now. Mm-hmm. There's a, a commercial just recently, I forget who it was, where they had a, the Campbell's Soup commercial. Little kid goes up, he's got two dads. When the fuck in our lifetime... Right. As as kids, would that commercial ever end? No, it wouldn't. There's a, there's been a lot of growth and changes. I'm saying there has. Oh, I'm not saying there has. But when it comes to like, uh, we have daughters, so I'm not saying that nobody's able to be who they want to be or what they yeah. want to do. Um, I'm alright, not baby thing. But if you're at a point where like, hey, I know I still kind of look like a boy. Use the boys' room, even if you're transitioning. You can go in a stall in the boys' room. It's uncomfortable See, for the women. Uh, Right, but you're making that person uncomfortable because you're making them yeah, but revert back to a part of their mm. their life that they're not comfortable with. I I agree with you. I do, but at the same time, later on in life, they should. Know I'm not gonna like. I I agree with them because I'm the same way. I'm not gonna live my life to please everybody else. I'm living my life for me. So if I, you're uncomfortable, yes. then you go to another bathroom. Well, obviously, I would go to another bathroom. And I wouldn't allow my four-year-old or uh, my daughters to be in a bathroom when I'm not there anyway, uh, especially if we're out together. But at the end of the day, if I saw a man walking into the woman's room while I was in there and they were transitioning and I had no idea because they looked like a man, I would shut it down and say, you need to get out until she's finished. Like, you need to give us space. You, I'm sorry, but that's just what I would do. And I feel like at that time, they're making separate bathrooms, aren't they? They're, making, they're doing separate things now and stuff like that. But there should be a moment of just respect where, oh, maybe if they were going to go in the bathroom, they look in and they see other people. Hopefully there's that respect that they don't, you know, make women uncomfortable. I don't know. Maybe some men even fucking lie to go in the women's room. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's fucking crazy people out there that do crazy yeah, fucking things. Yeah, but that's things. like 1%. I don't know, man. I don't know. We're going to have to agree to disagree. I agree, but I disagree. I agree. Because I disagree, but I, I disagree. I agree because it's I love right. you, but I disagree. No, I agree because that's my nephew, and I love my nephew. Okay. I want to interject because I heard someone's voice. I literally wanted to scream down the stairs. I heard you say, but you're making that individual uncomfortable. Because nope. she said that you're making me uncomfortable. Yes. yes. And I'm just saying, like, I'm Bringing not. Bringing him back to that. Hold on. Go ahead. If you feel uncomfortable as that person, that's on you. You're the one doing this. Mm. You're the one transitioning. Right. Well, I'm all for it. I'm all for whoever wants to do whatever they want. I'm not saying that. But you're the one who's now doing this. Okay? We should not have to adjust our lifestyles as, as people mm-hmm. because you made a choice to do so. Not a choice, but... I'm glad you changed your mind. Yes, I'm sorry. It's not, no, it's not a choice. No, but, but, but the but physical change is a choice. Yeah, the physical part, but the mental, the internal. physical change is a choice. The physical change is a choice to make your outer appearance yes, match your inward I, I, appearance. Yes, I agree with that, but it's still a choice to do that. And that is where it lies. That is on you. You're doing that. I shouldn't have to adjust anything in my life because you're making a decision in yours. That's not fair. One person's uncomfortability or whatever they feel doesn't outrank society's. Like, that's not fair to do. You can't I give a fuck what society says. No, but, like but I said, I'm not, gonna I'm not trying to make this sound harsh, but you're the different thing here. For the most part, we all play by the same rules. You're the different rule here now. But that's why they're making so, separate bathrooms yes, and exa- stuff in school. And that, well, again, all for that, too. Have the separate bathrooms where all trans people can go then. That's fine. See, I don't agree with that either that's because that's basically like outing somebody. They tried to do that to my son when he was in junior mm-hmm. high. Didn't you say they made him a bathroom? No, but then don't use that bathroom. Wait, but didn't, they, didn't you say they made him a bathroom? No, I said, no. Make, I said just make one they, in general. Don't specify had, what kids can use They have use it. like a universal bathroom, which no kid really uses. And she said that he couldn't use the boys' room, that she had other kids she needed to protect. And she said this in front of him, by the way. Mm-hmm. She said he could use the gender-neutral bathroom or he could go and use the bathroom in the nurse's office. And I said... At that age, though, I understand that. At that age... He is only 13 No, this was when... He was was 11. He was like 11 or 12. He was 11. It was like two years ago. This was a a while ago. Yeah. At that age, Nicole, you can't understand where parents and teachers are coming from. I mean, I, I understand it's your kid. I get it. But, again, 
everyone else's kids, for the most part, aren't doing this type of thing. So everyone else shouldn't have to adjust right, their lives for, for your special case. At That's that not fair. At that point, kids, for the most part, didn't know him as who he was before. They only knew him as Zach. So but again, how is that? Who, on them? who was who was it hurting for him to go in and use the stall in the boys' room? I see. I'm I'm not against again, a girl going in the boys' room. I'm more against a boy say, going okay. in the girls' room. But then they're doing that, right? And now all of a sudden, the kids find out. Oh, Zach's not a boy. Zach's a girl. Zach's not a girl. They're you know what I'm saying, Paul? Like, Jesus don't Christ. Take so, please don't take this personal. You know what it I'm is personal s- to no, me because it's my kid. But you act but as if I'm attacking you. Bad about your I'm son. Saying, I know you guys aren't but, attacking but me. I'm I get saying, that. If but these people found about out that Zach was, is born a girl, okay, and the kids find this out, how is Zach going to play out? Your kid's going to a new school. That's how that plays out. So, like, don't you see... What, but standing they're, they're him out, protecting your child. Like you take it as a slander and a slight, but they're protecting them because if God forbid it gets out and the kids find out, yeah. what then? What? You get what I'm saying? It's going to be hard. At and high that school age, is hard. At that age, you're, you're expecting 11 and 12 year olds to take that and just be like, okay, we'll all be respectful about it and be cool with it. No, especially not 12, 11, 12 year old boys. I would have been fucking having a field day, me and my friends, mm. with that shit. I don't know why you're holding your tongue if you have something to yeah, say. Say, say what it. you want to say. Your family. Because he's got plenty of, of friends that have been there with him through the beginning, and a lot of them are boys. Like, his best friend. His best, but what best does that have friend. to do with anything? Because you're saying, like, how, how boys are. But let me tell you something. They're, not only are they very That's support... Today's. No, those are his friends. Not, but and those let, are his let, friends. let me finish. Let me finish. Not only are they very supportive and their parents are supportive, but if anybody ever came out of pocket and tried to do or say something to him because of who he is, yeah. every single one of them would have their back. So, but exactly, back. and and your son, your son's very lucky that he grew up in he the is time he did right now. Lucky. Because if this was 20, 25 years ago, he'd be getting ridiculed and mocked and made fun of and shitted on constantly. Yeah, things have come a long constantly. way. Things Where have now, changed. when people find out, oh, Zach transitioned, no one even bats an eye. They go, oh, okay. Yeah, right. Exactly. Right. Yes. And that is the truth. We've come. Ev- the society's come a far way. So for the for the little things, I, I think like you're, you're fighting the wrong fights. Like like, so what about the bathroom? So what? You got to use the stall either way. So go use the stall on the girls. Who gives a shit? But what I'm saying is is that. But his, like, wait, like his case had, was a little different. Let me tell you why. Because he'd go to the girls' room and then he'd get yelled at by teachers. Yes, I, I like remember that. Yes, I, I do remember that. So him that. using the boys' room should be And allowed. I remember even then saying, you know, well... That's he, fucked up. She does look like a boy because, again, she was transitioning. So uh, I was like, you know, I, I get it. But Just either way... for now on. Yes. I'm, I'm, I know, I know. But when I'm talking back and forth, I'm sorry. That's you know, right. I, he's listen, not listening. I get it. You know, he's I'm not listening. I'm not taking offense to it. I get it. Um... I, again, I'm not trying to do it that way. I'm just in I, the situation. Listen, I, I got have to you. Kind of, you know, Rocky, you don't got to um, explain or apologize. I get it. Don't being, get she's being serious. I am being right. serious. No, I'm being, I'm, not mad I'm, at all. No, I'm no, not like, being you know, I don't want, I never no, want to like, mad at all. you know, cross the, the line. The thing is, you know what it is? Rocky, I love you, even though you'd rather not get a phone call from me. Oh, <laughs> that's right. We'll talk about that after. We'll throw that right out. No, but I, in the end, though, Nicole, like, I completely, a thousand percent, can customize my nephew's cir- circumstances because he looks like a boy. He acts like a boy. He always did. And, you know, we knew when he was very young that he was either going to be a lesbian and or a boy. But wa- again, you know, Zach we, looks like a boy. Yes, so that's why I'm saying like him, him using walking the, boys into the boys' room, boys room I would fight I wouldn't bat an eye going, oh, that's not a boy. <clears throat> right. I would, I would I w- never do if that. If I was him, I would have just went in no, the boys' room. A hundred out of a hundred you know people I mean? are like, going to look at Zach and go, that's a boy. That's a boy. So I, you There's know, There's not a single person who would think It was more or less he was trying to fit into where he thought he belonged because of his physical. Inside, he belonged into the male. And if he would have just went into the boys' room, nobody would have said anything. Now, uh, luckily, he started off where there is nobody t- talking or questioning because it's a new I, situation. I get everything you're saying. My point, what I was trying to make before, is like I said... 
when it comes to like the other side, like male transitioning to female, you don't know where they are in their transi- transition. Right. You don't know how far they into their medications. Like right. no, when, no, nobody no, knows no, anybody no, else's no, journey. Let me, let me finish though, because when you're like, you're a woman, you remember what it was like when we went through puberty, all the mm, different emotions sure. and, and everything that your body's right. going through. Yes. These men transitioning to women, they're going through all that again. So you have no idea what's going on in their head, their emotions, anything like that for you to say. So if they're just going to the bathroom and they're going to do their business and you don't see them sitting there poking around, peeking at your kid, what the fuck does it matter? Yeah, but they're not in the bathroom to know that. What does it matter? If they're not sitting there but, staring but at you and your in kids. The to now, know wait, that. now we're talking about public bathrooms because in school, I wouldn't, I really school wouldn't. School and public yeah, are two different things. I wouldn't even give a shit about school. Yeah, school. I'm talking like, about in public. That's what I'm talking about. Ugh. No. If, if they're I'm in not, the bathroom with Valentina and there, a man, a um, woman I'm going to feel uncomfortable. Looking like a man walks in, I am going, going to look, feel I'm going very to feel uncomfortable. Un- I'm going to feel like what's going on right now. I'm actually going to be on guard. Why is a guy walking in here? Because he looks right, like a guy. But my point is, if he's not sitting there and staring at you and staring at Valentina, and he's going straight into because do as his a business, human, my natural instinct hand. is yeah, to go, "This is irregular." A man walking this isn't in. The, this isn't the norm. So this that's why I feel yeah, this way. I, as a human, this is an irregular thing that's happening. I, That's yeah, why we're humans. I, I am totally pro with the whole school thing. And I listen, if another 11-year-old like walked in. You're living with it, you know, so your acceptance is a, a above and beyond. You know what I mean? And, uh, of course, uh, again, we are, v- of course, very accepting of it we all. We love you. you and know, I love uh, my nephew. But you have to understand that not everyone's around this. Not it's, So it's culture shock. I get it. No, I'm just but, trying but to get you guys to understand no, the other side, I too. Understand. I, no, I do, do understand. understand I do. That's and the when, thing. And when and, she and went down with him, is, what did is, I say? Is that the other side doesn't understand the culture shock aspect. When, I, when you told me about what was going on with my nephew at school, what was I like? What the fuck do you mean? you goddamn right you fight for him. Get him what he wants. Get him this. And I am all for whatever he needs to do. I will fucking love him with every inch of hair of everywhere all over his fucking body. I love him, okay? However, being a parent who has girls coming up into the world, if my daughter was in the bathroom and Zach walked in and he felt like Zach to me looks like he belongs in the boy's bathroom. So he should just go about his business and use the boy's room. Nobody's gonna fucking. Yeah, nobody's public, gonna point th- him out. Th- there's no hall monitor. No one's gonna go. You. Yeah. You're not supposed to be in there. Yeah. Nobody. And and that, that's what I said in the beginning. Your appearance to me is is the pass into which bathroom you go into. If right. you look like a man, mm-hmm. and not you know, I threw on a wig and a fucking hat. Right and a now dress, I'm going to the bathroom. And now you I'm never going know what in the I women's do bathroom. In there. Right. No. If you look like the girl you showed me, get the pa- I mean, yes. be what you want to be, or, but be but it. It doesn't have to be that, but you, you get what I'm saying. Yes. You're trying. If you look like Zach, go in the boys' bathroom. Yes. If you look like Chaz Bono, go in the boys' bathroom. Right. 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 Like, you look like a boy. Go. Go. No I, one's, I agree no one's with telling that. you not to. Right. But I wouldn't want Chaz Bono or. Zach now going into the girls' bathroom looking like the, how they look. Right. If you've Zach made the walked choice, in the girls' room, but you've made the choice to be, to look like a, a. I would be like, why a, a boy? Why? Yeah. You look. You to me, I would look at him and go, "What are you doing in here?" You, you know what I mean? Like you've you, made the choice to look like a boy. So why are you using a different bathroom right, now? Right. And it, but but at the same time though, people who are men, like we're saying, transitioning to women, shave your beard, dude. Shave your beard and actually look like a woman because it's uncomfortable. Like, remember when I the see dude flipping out in the GameStop? You remember the uh, the big huge chick? You don't remember it was viral, where it, call me ma'am, stop calling me sir, call me ma'am. No, you don't remember find that? that? I don't no. know. <sighs> Let me see if I can find it. Find it. Tell us about it. Go ahead. But no, that's uh, like I looked at that person and go, you're not trying. Right. Like you're not trying. This is uh, someone not Oh, it was trying. a man yelling, call yeah. me ma'am. <sighs> Let me see if I can find it. Keep talking. It's really me. difficult, like, to even talk on it without... Here it is. ...trying to be 100. It's really good, yeah. yeah really everyone sexy. else has probably seen this. Oh, if you really haven't, then go look it, up the video, but, like, but I'm not going to put like it up. Like you guys can see it. You're going to give me my fucking money back. Excuse me, sir. There's a young man in here. Excuse me, it's ma'am. It is ma'am. See, like, yeah, you did the hair and you're wearing the outfit, but come on. I'm not calling you. Like, you're, 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 you're not trying. That's not trying. No, you said sir. 
Once again, it's man. Like, yes, because... See, that goes to what I was saying as right far as, like, you don't know sir. how far he is into no, his uh, right, that's transitioning. Fine. But you look like but a man. Look, so when she says, sir, don't get so offended. That but that like sorry. Like and you can't get that offended because... I, how do I know what you're doing? I would say, Maybe you you're know just what? wearing a pink shirt. But no. if he said it once, that should be enough. No, but, he, yes, but the, still, he, the way he said it, Nicole, he yelled at it right away. You, I haven't seen the whole oh, clip, no, so I don't me, know. Trust me, the kid oh. at GameStop being yelled at like this a is GameStop not doing kid. it on purpose. He's, he if he looked at first. If you see this little first. nerdy kid, he's just accustomed to seeing a man and saying, sir. Yeah, So, but if he, the guy could have been like, hey, I'm sorry, but I go by man. You know what I, I mean? No, I completely yeah, yeah, agree with you. Him yelling and screaming like I didn't see the video. That's what I'm talking about. Like that should not walk into the woman's room. I would have a problem that with that. That should not walk into the woman's room. Mm-mm. You should still be using the men's. If you're transitioning, mm-hmm. that's fine. Fine. But in the midst of this transition, you're still Looking men's room. like a man, I'm sorry. You're still men's room. Yeah. That's a men's room thing. That's just the way I, I feel. I guess we'll just have to agree to disagree. Yes. Well, I'll tell you what. The next time you're taking a shit and you come out and there's a man standing there like, hey, and his fucking dick's hanging out and see how you feel about it. I don't see why his dick would be hanging out you in never the bathroom. Know. Any, you never any know. guys pulling out their dick you when you walk know. in the now, room, girl. Now you've given guys They're carte blanche all pulling to go into out the their women's dick. bathroom. They're going dick, You're giving Nicole. guys carte blanche. All they have to do is dress up like a woman and I now have access to the women's bathroom. That's there are people yes, who use that. Yes, there are people There's like people. People. 1% that's going to do stupid shit like that. The, the, tra- the trans community you know, is like 1% that 1% sucks. That's not true. <laughs> but how much it's of the like population is it? It's like 99.9% of the time it works 1%. every time. It's, it's but where is that 0.1%? It can't be much higher than that. Where is that 0.1%? The entire population, if it's more than... I'm going to look it up. Look it up. <sighs> I'm just saying in the background when they say the commercials, 99.9% of the time it works every time. But I want to know about the 0.1%. Where is that 0.1%? <laughs> no, listen. Truth of the matter is, you know... Uh, we could have different opinion all day. We're not in the situations. Thank God, I don't have to deal with stuff like that. And uh, I don't use pub- public restrooms ever. Not so. even one percent. Point six. Okay. So you're one percent of the people that would do that. Point six. Is one percent of the people that are trans. So. I'm just saying. <laughs> Which is like what? One million. All right. Of a percent? No, but but the, exactly. That's my point. Is that. The things you guys that, are, well, no, that's are my point is as small as that percentages of people in the trans is even less of a percent of people that would do stupid shit like no, what it's you're not. saying. It's actually I would guarantee it's higher of the people that would do stupid shit that in, than are being trans. People do stupid shit fucking constantly. They do. Constantly. Nicole, you're giving people way too much credit. Way too much credit. Do you read the news? Do you watch the news? Yeah. People are awful piles of shit. They are awful piles of shit. So why do you think that some dude wouldn't go into a woman's bathroom and take advantage of that situation? How often do you hear about that in the news? I of actually, awful, I, shitty people. I, I don't have, know how often it gets could, reported in the news because it's probably not that big of a crime. Right, walking in there. Worth new, being newsworthy. Yeah, I'm being honest with you, for hey, sure. Hey, I'm trans. I'm supposed to be in here. What, what am I getting in trouble for? Ah, uh, you know, he might have a point there. That's not every state. That's a state law, by the no. way. That's not many. It happens to be well, a New York state law. Well, now we're getting into semantics. Law, now we're getting into semantics. Uh, issues. Let's let's move on from this whole thing. I know, but yeah. I just I wanted to look it up. No, you know? let's just move no? on from you it. Yeah, yeah. Let's All right, just give, move on. give me something uh, special then. All right, I got something. Don't be mad at me because um, I disagree with you guys. Right. No, I love you. There no, is no, no, there's no at anger all? at all. Oh my whatsoever, god! Dude. I lo- look at this. I'm rubbing your knee. I am. I am a firm believer. No, I love that. I know. I am a firm believer in believe what the fuck you want to believe. I'll believe in what I want to. But don't push your shit on me. Did you know that me like, and Nicole And you don't push up? your shit on me. So <laughs> Did I, you know we hook up? I hope you do. <laughs> but but you don't push your shit on me. So that's why I don't Somebody care told what Nicole you believe that. in. Believe in whatever you want. That's fine. <laughs> because you, you're not in my face about it. Right. You know? Well, so we could just hook up as long as we're not in your face about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen to me. So seriously, though, somebody said that they thought we were hooking up. And I was okay. like, really? Groovy. Yeah, right. Um, it's because we're so close. Yeah, we are close. It's you had so a question from Twitter. Someone wrote, can you fall in love online or on Twitter? Yada, yada, yada. Um, in my opinion, I don't think you can actually be in love until you have physical contact. Okay. I think emotionally, yes, there can be a connection. Right. But that's not love. 
Well, this is the thing. And I think a lot of people do this online stuff because it's easier to not have to look at someone in the face and, and uh, communicate. There's a lot of communication problems with the people today. Mm. So I think that for them, it's easier for them to try to get to know each other without being initially in front. And then, you know, when they meet each other and stuff, uh, it changes a lot because yeah. people, people only tell you what they want you to hear and then when you meet them you find out it's a whole world of shit. I always say you cannot marry somebody till you live with somebody. Yeah. You cannot marry somebody till you have a kid with somebody. I'm sorry because you need to see what kind of parent they are. That's like a lifelong thing. With, with uh, that. That sounded stupid, babe. I gotta be honest. Why? <laughs> have a kid first to see what kind of parent they are? Well, yeah, I mean you don't want to just be with somebody an asshole Yeah, but married. now you're so just having a kid just to see if they're parents. assholes. And now you're stuck whether you that person's a shitty parent or no, not. You Now you're yeah, stuck with that way, shitty the, person know. as well, a parent. Well, let me just say, I mean, you how stupid does it sound? We lived together for a no, year but first, then we had Valentina, and then we got married. All right, but say I say we had Valentina and I turned out to be a shitty parent. Yeah. Then what was it? What, what after we that? Probably then you would have got married. We did, got married Right, but you'd her. still be stuck with him know, as a shitty father to your daughter. Shitty father and kid, though. Yeah, I would, yes, but I would be in a different predicament myself. Divorce is not fucking easy to go through, and it's not easy to separate a ch child. Once you're not together, you're not together. I guess. No, I'm not saying you have to get married to have a kid. I'm just saying. What like, if they have the kids already? The way you worded it made it like seem like, like eh, that, we'll just have a kid and no, see if you're a good parent or not. No, that's not what I said. You live together <laughs> first, then you have a kid. No, but the, I, I, it kind of came felt. out that way. I that's wanted what I'm to know saying. that I could live with you, and then I wanted to know that I can parent yeah. with you before I married you, because marriage to me was a one-time well, thing. Well, you also saw how I was as a parent with, uh, with my son. I did so. see how you were with Lewis. Yeah. yeah. I was just going to say, is there like a stipulation there, like if they have kids already? Yeah, well, do you still have to have a kid with them first? Well, she saw. I no, I oh, I, I no, see. But no, honestly, bitch. I think that's what uh, part of what she was attracted by I, actually me, about how good of a father I am. Being a, all honestly, if I had to really discuss right now what made me fall in love with my husband was we know we know each other since we're 13 and there is so many things that we know about each other and we've heard about each other and people have tried to say about us and that uh, we know so much, right? We everything anything anybody could possibly think they could tell him trust me he already knows i tell him everything and if, if, if i don't know if it didn't happen before 2012 12. i don't give a fuck right and that's how i feel too <laughs> i don't give a fuck what you did before 2012 2012 yeah. was me but you know what what i fell in love with was that he never he never was like when you were like this, when you did this, when you were, we started fresh and he accepted and loved every fucking thing. Well, I made it that very clear and I've, I wasn't always a proponent of this. No. But, and honestly, it's stupid that it dawned on me this way, but I was watching Chasing Amy. It's a Kevin Smith movie mm -hmm. and Ben Affleck's in it and Joey Lawrence Adams and she's a lesbian, but he turns her and she's straight and she's dating Ben Aff Affleck. Mm -hmm. And he finds out that back in the day, she got gangbanged, pretty much. So now he's all furious about it and yada, yada, yada. And she's like, what the fuck Why do you, you care? care? Right. It happened back then. Like, we're here now. Yeah. Right. Like, what the fuck? Who gives a shit about Why back then? Why does it then? matter? Yeah, what does what that matter? Fuck? He, like, and it, it I remember watching that scene, and then it just dawned on me, like, Wow, she's right. Like, what the fuck? Do, who gives a shit what happened in the past? You can't change the past. And if the person is that you've met now. What you love. What you love. Who gives a fuck what they did back then? Right. Who right. gives a shit? And, it has and, nothing to do with me. He's always done that. And coming from a person who does not, you know, I live, I cannot throw stones, okay? I looked at him and I was like, wow, he really accepts me. And then being his friend through his divorce and hearing all he wanted was his son. How could you not fall in love with someone like that? So fully loving and accepting, you know, who he is and who I am happened through a lot of weird different ways. And I'm, I think that possibly you can meet somebody online talking and, and conversating without physically being together and fall in love. I do think that that I could be possible. I don't think you can have love until there's physical contact. I think that when you have physical <laughs> contact and meet, like it real changes love. things. Tell that to all those catfishers no, out there. No, but real love. Well, real <laughs> love. Exactly, right? Well, no, for real, though. They because, listen... If if we start dating, right? right. I think you could think you're in love, but I kind of agree with you. No, like real we true love, I don't think. Say we were virgins, right? And she's just awful at sex, and now we've been dating for a year. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I I can't 
I, I wouldn't be with someone like that because we have to connect there. No, you yeah. I See, mean, I agree so. with you on that. I don't think I could ever marry somebody if I don't have sex with them first. Because I'm, I'm not, not saying that. Be oh, wait, stuck all right, so in now like you guys a, are talking about meeting off the sex internet relationship and getting married for the rest and then of my life. saying is, tell me I'm right or wrong, but a lot of our passion and love comes from how we fuck. All right, so that's a big part of a relationship. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. Let me let me not re- that's a say big for most people though. It's, it's not, not for most people, but Nicole, it should be like that intimacy. I know. It should I'm be telling a you, huge 80%, part. Eighty percent of the people I know in my life are not fucking, and I'm like, why not? Or if they are, it's like once a that's month. That's a damn shame. Yeah, I'm like, uh, why are yeah. you not fucking Married more? people. Stress. Yeah, and they you know, give, they give me this shit. Well, we got the kids, and I go, yeah, I, got three. I got three yeah. kids, dude. I got one no, that still wakes me up every day, four in the morning. No, but I agree with that. It, 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 it marriages with relationships saying, this is my thing though I'm not saying that you can't meet and they be like oh this isn't for me I'm saying that in that moment as you're getting to know each other it is an intimate thing you are falling in love with who you think is on the other side see, when they meet is when it's like what the fuck no, is but this see, I think you're using that word love very loosely I think there's a connection love is a whole different thing I love is a feeling yes love is what we have is no, but for real, you you feel that love, okay? Do you? Th- but what I'm saying is, is that Do you online, feel that love? there's feel no love. way online, and only communicating online, you can get the connection of love. I uh, I don't know. I've never I've never had that happen to me before. Um, there has to be physical embrace. There has to be kissing. There has to be touching. I agree. I feel be. like you have to have that intimacy. That's part of loving someone. I agree. It's part of loving someone, but I'm not saying you can fall loving, in love with know. an inside of a person. But and if even, you don't even, have time even or, as a parent or, or you know, but you love your kids, what do you do? You hug them and you kiss them. Yes, but yes, but Rocky, what I'm saying is that I can fall in love with a person for the person that they are and not want to fuck them. Yeah, but that's a, we're talking can, about a relationship. Y- y- no, that's the thing, though, Rocky. I am too. I'm talking yeah, about the, the, having a, talking to somebody online, having this relationship, and then you know, without having sex, I can have a, an attraction to somebody and their personality and who they are. I'm attracted to you, not just how you look. But could I'm you go the rest you of your every- marriage and not have sex with him? No. Why would? Why, now we're talking well, about celibacy. Exactly. Though. Fuck no. We're not talking about cel- celibacy. Or bad sex. But you can train anybody. No. no. Anybody, wait. No, you can't. Anybody who really wants to fuck and, and enjoy themselves will learn with you and you will grow together. We have definitely yeah, but gotten some better. Some people at don't want to. Some people that's are right. lazy. That's okay. So that's a different story. Now you're talking about lazy motherfuckers. If you're in a relationship and you're 100 and 100. Yes, but that's the whole point of this thing is that, you know. That's the whole point of this thing? What's the whole point of this is thing, Rocky? That, is that, again, you still need a physical connection. I at 100% some point agree for love with you. To grow. Yes, f- physical is necessary, yes, for it to grow. But I'm saying in the initial, if you're talking to somebody, you can fall in love with them without fucking them. Yes, without fucking, yes. Okay. But you so still want a, a hug or a kiss or an embrace I of didn't. some sort. Well, maybe he, maybe they're long distance before they get to meet each other. Well, again, that's why I'm saying you're not in love yet. Well, you know what? Being the fact that you're not there, you don't know if they're in love, and I'm going to go with that. You agree with that I if you want. You keep on believing in I'm love, gonna, girl. I'm gonna belie- I'm keep gonna on believing in, in, in that. Believe in that love. You believe that um, love. So we bounced around a little bit, and uh, we're getting close to the end, and I just I want to say a few things that are really important for me to say. And uh, I'm sure that I don't get everybody in the room that I want to be in here to hear the things that I have to say, but I'm going to say it because it's super important. You know, we all go through things in our lives that will change us or hurt us or break us down so we can build back up. No matter what it is that we're going through at this time, we are really fucking lucky that we are here and that we can do it. So instead of hating everybody, pointing the finger, being a mean girl, gossiping, or whatever else you have going on, why don't you pay more attention to living your life and letting live? You know, we, we all go through these, oh my God, I can't <coughs> believe I lost this person. Oh my God, I can't believe this. Oh my God, I can't believe... This is what happens every fucking day. This is our lives. We are humans and this is what happens. So when we're losing people, instead of us... What's my favorite part of Guardians of the Galaxy? I never saw that. No. Oh. When Rocket... And he goes, oh, boo-hoo. We all have dead people. Yes. Deal with it. <laughs> and that line, as harsh as it is, is absolutely right. No. You but know, but I'm not saying people can't grieve. And be, you know, but, but what he's saying is, is that 
when people over overtly hang on to things and you know use it as a as maybe a crutch or a poor me type thing some people do this is that everyone deals with it everyone deals with dying people everyone deals with losing people you know and people pick themselves up and manage to keep moving on you just completely cut me off in the middle of something i was saying that was important i'm sorry baby i'm very sorry. so fucking rude Ugh. i am i want to get back to what i was saying we go through these things. Just for that, I won't call you. <laughs> and we, I just hit my teeth on the fucking microphone, okay? And uh, we go through these lives. We build these connections with people. And sometimes we lose them. But we need to get back up. We need to keep on moving. So my message is actually to a, a special friend that my husband and I hold dear, Opie Radio. If you don't listen to him... Go listen to him. Catch up on what he was talking about, who he was, Carl's, all his great stories. Catch up and then start with the now with him because he's going to get even better. And uh, when he comes back and gets back on his feet, we're going to be here to fucking support him. A hundred and thousand, fifty thousand, a million, quadrillion percent right. times ten. That's right. I made up a million. number that wasn't even real, Opie. That's how much we love you. That's right. And uh, I want to say, okay, thank you to... Uh, and I want to just say real quick, whoever to the weirdo is... What weirdo? ...that subscribes to us and then unsubscribes to us all the time. <laughs> what? It's really weird you do that because we were just at 9.53 like yesterday. Now we're down to 9.48. And we didn't just lose subs for no reason. It's uh, I have like an inkling. It's like one person just that has a few accounts. Yeah, that just goes in and subs again. And then so you can't unsub. see like Richie as, probably as can. A I don't know. It's so stupid. I don't, um, I don't know how to like look at all that shit here. We missed Mark here tonight, of course. We I know, love I you. missed my sidekick. We missed him tonight. We, of course, though, we had Nicole, our special sidekick and sister, and we love you very much. We love Nicole. Sweet Temptations by Nikki, okay? But if you're ever going to die or call Nicole, <laughs> just die. <laughs> just die. <laughs> just die. No, funny joke I really quick. You. <laughs> funny joke really quick, okay? I said to my husband, we we're talking about friends, and I said to him, my friends are your friends. He goes, your friends are not my friends. Your friends are your friends, and that's it. I'm nice because they're your friends. And I'm like, yeah, but what about Nicole? I'm like, if you ever need anybody, you know Nicole will be there for you. If God forbid anything happen, you know Nicole would be there. And he goes, well, in that kind of situation, call Nicole or die. I die. <laughs> and so that's the inside joke here, people. Um, we want to shout we out. closer than that, Rocky. I'm just saying. Statement life. games. Statementgames.com. Go get in there. You play your games. We love it. Play it. Um, and I'm going to scream out Realm Network and the Vince Russo's brand since even that's where we are, even though they don't shout me out or retweet our show out. Um, I'll do all the advertising myself, I, I guess. I don't get any brand love. You know, I see Never brand love. And it's my fucking show. family, uh, Vince. And everyone else gets tweets. Mm. Oh, well, by the way, SmackDown moves next week to Friday. And that means he's open on Tuesday. That means he's open Tuesday night. So uh, don't I fuck around, out. Vince. I, I called him out on Super Ugly. I better call, get a call in next and, week. And now, so. now Vic Venom's back. Oh, great. So I don't give a fuck who Vic Venom is. Don't yeah. call in. Well, Let's, talk who Vic Venom Let's talk about a Vic Venom. Exactly. So Vince Russo, Vic Venom, <laughs> whoever the fuck wants kidding. to show up. <laughs> we're kidding. We're kidding. We're kidding. Jeff Lane. We're kidding. All right. It's not dead celebrity death We match. want a goddamn explanation. I just want to be shouted out and given the attention I fucking deserve because I am Jay Rabbit. Every other show gets two. <laughs> two tweets. <laughs> They get two <laughs> tweets. We get forgotten. We're not forgotten. We are never fucking forgotten. Longest running show on the brand. Forgotten guys. misfits. One and I'm the newest, least. one of the newest shows. Let's not forget, guys, all right? Four years running Listen, on the goddamn brand. This is not Super Ugly Show. This is Unfiltered Marriage, which I also adjusted the name just for you, Vince, so I better get a fucking call in. Anyway, Oh, listen. he's calling next Tuesday. Oh, yeah, Both he is. shows. Oh, yeah, he is. Both fucking shows, yeah. Vince. Might even want a video Boom. to fuck around. Um, oh, no, it's a video. Thank you to both of you, but babe, thank you for being uh, the best, best, better half of me because uh, I am just appreciative of you and, and of everything we have and built. Well, I'm super God, appreciative of God, we have light, you. and that's what I care about, you know? You Send love to everybody. Whole world spinning in our little world. Oh, babe. Yeah. Whoa, he really wants a blowjob tonight. <laughs> He's, He's trying to get a blowjob. We all know it. No, a lot. it's fine. But listen, guys, we really love you. We appreciate everybody who came in. Um, we'll see you guys next fucking Tuesday. I had a great time. Bye.